American alligators are the only crocodilian and the largest species of freshwater reptile found throughout the vast majority of the southeastern U.S. In previous videos, we've discussed the importance of these organisms as apex predators in the ecosystems where they reside. In this role, alligators exert top-down control on populations of their prey species ensuring that no one organism experiences unsustainable population growth and takes up too large a portion of the available resources in an ecosystem. We also know that alligators act as ecosystem engineers, digging gator ponds which retain water during the dry season and keep themselves and other aquatic organisms alive when the more shallow waterways dry up. But what if I told you that alligators also have important secondary effects on our native flora and fauna that we are only beginning to understand. A recent 2021 study published by Ray Gable, Peter Frederick, and Jabi Zabala has revealed new aspects of a unique natural relationship that you might not have ever expected, a sort of partnership between alligators and wading birds. Now I know it sounds absurd at the outset, don't alligators prey on wading birds? Well yes, but consider these two facts. Many waders select nesting sites protected by water, and most species select nest sites high in trees. Because the nesting is occurring in the canopy, adult wading birds have no need to worry about predation by alligators. They do, however, have to be very concerned about a different threat, nest predators. Here in the southeast, most nest predators that target the eggs or young of wading birds are mammals, such as raccoons which are able to swim across water buffers and climb trees to access the nests. Raccoons are also large enough that most birds are unable to defend against them. In North Carolina, many wading birds nest in our coastal plain, which also happens to represent the northern extent of the American alligators range. And where alligators are present here in North Carolina, they will absolutely prey on medium-sized mammals when those opportunities present themselves such as when a nest predator swims across a waterway to access a nesting colony of wading birds. This study poses a question. In areas of coastal North Carolina where alligators are not present, are wading birds more likely to nest in areas that are inaccessible to mammalian predators? The researchers surveyed a selection of suitable nesting sites in eastern North Carolina, some of which were located in areas where alligator presence was unlikely and others in areas within the known alligator range. They controlled for factors such as vegetation type and island size when applicable, and the goal of the surveys was to assess whether or not wading birds were more likely to nest in areas where alligators were present when other habitat variables were consistent. They found that wading birds were much more likely to occupy islands with alligator presence than those without suggesting that they are indeed using alligators as a sort of nest defense system against mammalian predators, which greatly increases their nesting success rate. In exchange for their services, alligators are able to consume any hatchlings that naturally fall from the nests into the water. This mutualistic relationship between the alligators and wading birds is just another example of the dynamic and often poorly understood interactions between different organisms that exist in natural systems, and provides further evidence that alligators are keystone species, which keep our wetland ecosystems balanced and healthy. Alright everyone, that's just about it for today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed and learned something new about the American alligator. If you did enjoy, please be sure to leave a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for new educational wildlife content coming on Saturday mornings as often as possible. Also, if you haven't already, feel free to check out my Twitter and Instagram pages at The Wild Report for photos and video clips from my adventures. Thanks so much for watching and keep adventuring everywhere. This has been Zeno of The Wild Report, signing out.